Hey everyone, we are here at GitHub Universe. I'm here with Shreen. Shreen, how has your day been? And uh, um, it's been going great so far. Yeah, we just had our session uh, with uh, Dr. Malin uh, for co-pilot in the classroom. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to. Uh, I saw Shreen. I, uh, I saw Juan Pa, and he was like, you know, you want to talk about the brains behind good GitHub Copilot? Mm -hmm. So reach out to them. And then, first of all, thanks a lot for giving your time to do sure. you know, this interview. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about GitHub Copilot mm -hmm. and specifically from the uh, education point of view. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit more about, I know you just did a talk with David mm -hmm. about how like universities and uh, programming boot camps or just individual mm -hmm. learners mm -hmm. can benefit from GitHub Copilot mm -hmm. during their learning journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, like the co-pilot, um, not only just like for the beginner student, like, but like also like for the experienced developers, like it can, you can find value from a co-pilot, right? Because, you know, um, I certainly hear the concern that uh, co-pilot as today's shape and form, it could have some impact on the beginner student learning because as David keeps mentioning, it's like, you know, for the beginner student, they probably don't know what they're doing, but the co-pilot already feed it, like tell them what to do so that's actually like the major concern um, but you know I, as I just mentioned in the sessions that um, you know, as the technology evolves I'm firmly believe there is a potential like, for co-pilot to become the true teaching assistant approximate to the teaching assistant for the student and and even David like he would agree with me that you know the co-pilot is useful for like higher level student learning right and like what I want to say is like the feedback we get from our developer communities even for those very experienced developers it's also very useful for them right because i think a lot of the power of co-pilot is every time even if you give them the same prompt it actually can generate different solutions alternative for you so um you know by reading those solutions that's actually give the experienced developer a aha moment oh i actually didn't know like you can solve the problem in this way. So that has been like one of the consistent feedback we get from our users. You know, it's like they always find it so um, like a sh shockingly uh, well, like in how Copilot works. Yeah. yeah. That's not just for experienced developers, like mm -hmm. finding multiple solutions to one problem. It's a mm -hmm. great learning process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I'm going to ask you like questions related to GitHub Copilot. Uh -huh. I don't know how much you can share. So. Uh -huh. What are you like? Sure. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about like, you know, what, is, what were some of the challenges building GitHub Copilot and what are your favorite memories and uh, anything like ins and outs and stuff like that that you're allowed to share? Okay, so you're asking what is my favorite memory? And like the challenges that you've, you know, building GitHub Copilot. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think like the 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 major theme about the challenges that we're facing building Copilot is because the Copilot is the first major AI product that does the code generation, and there is no precedence for us to follow, right? In terms of how we should managing um, the AI product like Copilot responsibly. So um, in a large sense that. The decision that we're making today for Copilot is going to have a major influence in terms of how the industry standard is going to be defined. Mm. So um, that, to me, I think is a really a major theme about the challenges we're facing because we are the first um, and also the technology is very nascent. Um, so th those are very awesome lots of challenges in all aspects, not just only like a technical aspect, but also, you know, from the, um, how do you manage this responsibly and how, you know, we can define the product and make the product the meeting our open source communities, like developer standard. So those are all like, you know, the, the challenges like we are going through on a day to day basis. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's relatively new. Like I was a part of the technical preview. Mm -hmm. So what were like the, what was the, what was the life cycle like for Copilot? Like when did you start thinking about it and yeah. why, why how, how it came into picture and, and what was the process like? Yeah. So um, I think this is now my first hand experiences because I wasn't here when uh, Copilot was first started. Uh, but I can give you some history. Um, so the Copilot was started by a group of researchers in GitHub Next. It was started as a collaboration between OpenAI, Microsoft and GitHub. 
And the, the Google researchers, like they did such a fantastic job and taking the project to the technical preview, uh, I believe it last uh, July, June, July, uh, 2021. And since then it got like overwhelmingly positive feedback from developer communities because it does feel like the experience a huge leap over, you know, those auto completion features on the market. So, um, and you know, certainly because of the success of technical preview, we feel very confident there is a product market fit, right? Then what's the next? The next is how we can make it a real product to serve you know, hundreds of millions of developers around the world, right? Um, so that's where me and my team came in. So the project was transitioned from the next lab to EPD, it's like engineering uh, product and design. Uh, so I joined the project uh, at the beginning of this year uh, and also like my engineering counterpart where all, we were all new to this project. But, you know, I have to say like, you know, thanks for the collective work from everybody, including, you know, other functions within the GitHub, our marketing, our business, uh, development and our um, the SILA uh, contact, you know, we we were able to ship it successfully in June. And now our next uh, focus will be you know, ship the version in early December to our business customers. Because because of the success of technical preview, the business customer, they have been knocking on our door asking mm. <laughs> for a copilot version. That's yeah. actually my, thanks a lot for us answering. Yeah. And that's my next question, which is, mm. Uh, what's next for GitHub Copilot? In yeah. terms of major new, I don't know if you're allowed to share or not, but what are some of the feedback that you've gotten from the community? Like, oh, it would be pretty cool if we had this, or it would be pretty cool if we had that. <laughs> yeah, I can talk a little bit. It's like um, the immediate next uh, major milestone is December 7th. So we're going to release a version for all the business customers, whether you're small teams or startup or large enterprise. Um, beyond that, certainly has been like our top of mind. What are the set of next big pictures we could do beyond auto completions, right? Because our vision is that we want to become the AI systems mm. for software developers. So doing that only in the authoring phase is only one small part and we barely like scratch the surfaces. So there are many, many things we can do, like can be done in developers other flow, like your test flow, like your maintenance, your debug, yeah. your check-in, all of this that we could become your system. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, just one uh, addition point. Is it, is it gonna be, is it? <laughs> Is it going to be focused on just developers or are you thinking of like, like DevOps and SRE sort of people as well? Um, I, I think like our focus is the software developers. We want to become the AI system for software Amazing. developers. Amazing. Well, thanks a lot for sharing. Yeah, and sure. thanks yeah. Yeah. and uh, if you want to use GitHub Copilot, I highly recommend checking it out on, uh, you know, like check out the links in the description and uh, just use it. Yeah, yeah. use it. <laughs> Let us know.